Good morning Davao, good morning Mindanao, good morning North, South, East, and West. This is Gilbert Lopez Marti Hikatso. For the headlines, weather forecast. Localized thunderstorm affecting Mindanao. Local news. Vice President Sara Duterte calls on the Braa athletes to improve Palaro 2024 performance. Special permits for PUBs from Dabraa delegation. Davao City Police remind parents of 5 minutes roll. 1.5 million tourist arrivals lagged in Dabsor in 23. National News Mayor Rama declares water crisis. Heat index in Cebu may reach 51 degree Celsius. International news. Foreigners among world central kitchen staff killed in Israeli strike, gas authorities and aid group say. Israeli forces around two more Gaza hospital. Palestinian Red Crescent says. International news. Heart Evangelista congratulate Marian Rivera in her return to primetime via My Guardian Alien. Godzilla X Kong Review Dazzling but feels drunk on its own CGI. Sports News Copa Libertadores Who can end Brazilian dominance? Team Cone clarifies that Justin Brownlee is our guy. For Gilas and Bini, both right is his backup. For the features news, Zaza, a decadent avocado smoothie to break the Ramadan fast. Kailin Alcantara gets some beach time in Sorsogon. For the side stories and for the trivia, do you not know that Davao City is surrounded by breathtaking natural wonders? Weather forecast. Mindanao will be partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to the localized thunderstorms. Light to moderate winds from east to northeast with slight to moderate seas. Local news. Vice President Sara and Education Secretary mingles with the delegates of the 2024 Dabo Regional Athletic Association, DAVRAA, during the Mets opening on Monday afternoon, April 1, at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, or UP Mindanao. Sports Complex Mintal Davao City. Duterte reminded the delegates not to be afraid to ask for a timeout wherever necessary, especially since the temperature is not athletes friendly these days. Donna Stephanie Claire Agkumbot during the opening of ceremonies of the Dabao Region Athletic Association or DABRAA, meet 2024 at the Dabao City University of the Philippines, UP, Mindanao Sports Complex on Monday afternoon, April 1, Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte urged the nearly 7,000 competing athletes to embrace challenges. Duterte said, that for some participants, the Dabraa meet is an opportunity 
to regain spotlight emphasizing that whether they are beginning their sports journey or reclaiming their position, the Palarong Pambansa awaits them. An official from the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, Davao Region LTFRB Davao, said that the special permit were issued for public utility jeepneys and vehicles PUJ, PUV from other provinces participating in the Dabo Region Athletic Association Dabraa Meet 2024. Nonito Lianos, Regional Director of the LT LTFRB Dabao, said in a radio interview on Dabo City Disaster Radio DCDR. On Wednesday morning, March 27, 2024, that they conducted a transport forum from cooperatives to prepare for the Dabraa meet. So mangayo sila og idea og unsa ilang himuon ang mga jeep gikan sa as far as Dabao di Oro, Mungkayo, sakyan daw ilang mga jeep sa mga players. Then muad to og Dabao. They sought advice on how to handle the transportation of players from as far as Dabao di Oro, Mungkayo, using their jeeps, he said. Lianos emphasized the necessity of obtaining a special permit for safe travel to Dabao City. He reminded operators that their franchise conditions require them to acquire a permit when hired. Permit for safe travel to Dabao City. He reminded operators that the Lianos emphasized the necessity of obtaining a special their franchise conditions required to them acquire a permit when hired. The Police Regional Office Dabao Region PRO Dabao is reminding the parents accompanying their children in public places to be mindful of the five minutes rule. Once mawala sa paningin nyo ang inyong mga anak within 5 minutes, maalarma na kayo. PRO Dabao Spokesperson Major Catherine De La Rey said, Once your child is out of your sight 5 minutes or for 5 minutes, you should be alarmed. This reminder also supplies to relatives like uncles, aunts, siblings, and cousins who are accompanying their young relative in public places. Do not be overconfident. She said that parents should not just entrust their kids to strangers, even for a few minutes. Domestic tourist arrival, particularly on the day tour in Dabao del Sur, reached 1.5 million of which Digo City had the largest contribution because of the Mount Apo Loop in 2023. Dabo del Sur Tourist and Cultural Office Head Kervin Joseph Elihai said that local tourism is a draw factor for Dabo del Sur. He said foreign tourist arrival also reached 27,932 in 2023, bringing to a total of 1,527,932. We are, we are cross-checking our data because there are tourist destinations operators who did not report on time the tourism to the tourism office, he said. Ilihai said the 2022 data on tourist arrival in the province was recorded at 9 uh, 986,778 for day tour tourists and 76,754 night stays. Of the total arrivals, some 73,776 were locals and 2,974 were foreign tourists. He said Digo City alone registered 42,176 tourist arrival in February 2024.
For the national news, Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama has declared a state of water crisis in the city due to the effects of the El Nino phenomenon. I will now declare a crisis on water. I declare a crisis now. Convene Dayonta. We will convene immediately. Rama said in a press conference on Monday, April 1, 2024. He instructed City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office head Harold Alcuntin to call an emergency meeting with his appointed Metropolitan Cebu Water District MCWD Board of Directors led by Chairman Mil Milquiades Feliciano, former Environment Secretary and Task Force Gubat Sabaha Chairman Roy Simato and City Councilors to address the dwindling water supply due to the impacts of El Nino. Rama also invited all concerned departments and agencies of the city government, excluding the removed MCWD board members led by Jose de la Cruz III. A state meteorologist is warning the public that the heat index in Cebu in the coming months may reach up to the dangerous 51 degrees Celsius. Weather specialist Jomar or Jumer Eclarino of the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, Administration Pag-asa, Visayas, said that this is categorized as dangerous with a heat index ranging from 42 to 51 degrees Celsius. Earlier reports suggest that at this level, heat crumbs and exhaustion are highly likely and heat stroke becomes probable with continued activity outdoors. International News Foreign nationals were among seven aid workers killed in an Israeli military strike as they were delivering food to starving civilians in Gaza. According to non-profit group World Central Kitchen and authorities in the besieged enclave, World Central Kitchen said its, uh, its aid workers were traveling in a deconflicted zone in two armored cars branded with charity logos as well as a soup skin vehicle. Despite coordinating movements with the IDF, the convoy was hit as it was leaving the Deir al Bala warehouse, where the team had unloaded more than 100 tons of humanitarian food aid brought to Gaza on the maritime road. The group said in a statement, Israeli forces have surrounded two more hospitals in the Gaza Strip. The Palestinian Red Crescent Society, PRCS, said, describing intense shilling and heavy gunfire. Months into the conflict, fighting is still raging across Gaza, despite international pressure on Israel and ongoing efforts for a ceasefire and hostage deal. The PRCS said Sunday that Al Amal Hospital and Nazer Hospital in southern Gaza were both encircled. Entertainment News Global fashion and style icon heart evangelista to Capuso primetime queen Marianne Rivera. From my heart to yours, congratulations and welcome back, queen of primetime. Capuso star and global fashion and style icon, heart evangelista, gave a congratulatory message to Capuso primetime queen 
Marianne Rivera on her much-awaited return to prime time. The renowned actress is making her prime time comeback with My Guardian Alien, in which she will portray two roles, a loving mother and an alien. The new Monterverse offering Godzilla X Kong. The new Empire starring Dan Stevens and Rebecca Hall is visually dazzling but already feels old. Promoting Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire recently, Dan Steven gave an interviewer what might be one of the most honest publicity quotes from an actor ever. I'm under no illusion, people, come to see these films for the two mean guys, he said, meaning the actual humans on screen. The human element is really a fun side show that probably the case for most monsters movies and it is especially so far or so for this one. The fifth entry in the MonsterVerse franchise that began with the reboot Godzilla 2014. Director Adam Wingard, who also directed the previous installment, Godzilla vs. Kong 2023, has ramped up the action with lifelike visual effects and added the kaleidoscope swirl of colors since last time. For the sports news, his name was Alfredo Di Stefano and his majestic presence on the field for Real Madrid helped transform the European Cup from a precarious idea into a glamorous reality. Now that Europe had its annual club champion, the Estefanos native South America had to do likewise. The Copa Libertadores was born in 1960 and the group phase of its latest edition kicks off on Tuesday. Henebra coach Tim Cohn has always had the eye to identify a talent. It didn't take him long to spot San Miguel import Benny Boatwright as such, who was hands down a cut above the rest, rest during the PBA Season 48 Consumers Cup. Cohn said the 6 foot 8 reinforcement who helped the Beerman bug the Commissioner's Cup Championship reminds him of a young Justin Brawley. Well, only a few more inches taller. So, it's no brainer that Cohn wanted him to be a part of Gilas Pilipinas from a program as naturalized player. For the features, Moroccan Zaza is a thick and sweet avocado smoothie that resembles or resembles a layered sandy and satisfies as a post-fasting threat during Ramadan. Zaza is one of the Morocco's most decadent treats. It's both a smoothie and a dessert but its main ingredient may come as a surprise, avocado. It must, uh, in most part of the world, people think of avocado as a savory food rather than a dessert. But when I was a kid, we would split an avocado in half, sprinkle some sugar on the top, and then eat it with a spoon. Said Alia Al Kasime, founder of the online cooking school flavors 
of the Morocco and author of the Morocco, Moroccan cookies. 20 recipes you must try before you die. Summer season has officially started for Kailin Alcantara. Several local celebrities choose to spend their Holy Week break with their families and loved ones, including Kailin Alcantara. The Sparkle Star went on a beach gateway to spend some time with her family and she shared some snippets of their trips and on Instagram. One of the moments Kailin shared was when she had a nice dinner with a beach with her family. For the side stories, let's watch this. For the trivia, do you know that Davao City is surrounded by breathtaking natural wonders from the cascading waterfalls? To the mystical caves of Maragusan, there is no shortage of natural beauty to explore. That's for the news today. This is Gilbert Lopez Martí Hicazo. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell button for you to be updated of the Pinoy Rob News Channel updates. Thank you very much.